y'all want to know about my hamburger story, here is the picture of a Mr. Quick that's in Illinois, or was in Illinois, and right where that Volkswagen is sitting, I was sitting on the other side of the glass uh, when this all happened. The Volkswagen didn't get me, but a 57 Chevrolet did. Uh, let me put this down, I'll tell you about it. Woohoo! Back when I was a little, little lad, uh, we went out to the show, to the movie, and all the shows that was there was, of course, drive-ins. We didn't have any sit-in, sit-down shows at that time, and uh, we was in Illinois at the time because uh, my daddy loaded us up from Arkansas, and we went to go try something that other people get to do pretty regular, and uh, that was eating. So we, uh, Daddy loaded me and Mama up, and we went up north to uh, to get a job. So he could get a job, and Mama got a job. I'd have had a job except I was too little, and uh, stayed up there for several years. And I ended up being 12 years old, and me and my cousins, my older cousins, they had a car, and we went to. Uh, go see a movie. I don't remember the movie. Maybe they did. But there was about five of us. And we went to get... We came back from the movies. It was dark and everything. And we stopped in at Mr. Quick's because you could get like 25 cent hamburger and 15, 15 cents for a Coke. So we stopped in there and uh, I sat down against the wall, against the window, and had my hamburger all unwrapped there and I was checking it very closely because at that time I didn't like anything on my hamburger but meat and ketchup and everybody wanted to put all sorts of gooper things on my hamburger and I was defending against that so I was sitting there on some metal benches that was uh, bolted to the concrete and uh, all of a sudden I was knocked backwards and pushed across the across the uh, restaurant and big things was hitting my head and pushing my head down into the onto the table and that was that big them big sheets of glass whacking on me on the head and stuff. Why they didn't cut me up? Well they cut me up some but why they didn't ruin me I don't know. I guess the good Lord took care of me. And uh, what happened is some hippie, they had hippies back then, his foot slipped off the clutch and the car come through the window and run me over and uh, and uh, ended up breaking a couple vertebrae here and down in my back, uh, busted my back up pretty good, ruined me down there for several years much ruined my lung, my uh, supper. And, uh, one of the one of the uh, the memories that I have is is after they got me pulled out of the stuff, is the the hippie would stick his head, he stuck his head in the hole that he made with his car, and there's jagged glass all up above his head that could have cut his head off, and he hollers, "Is everybody all right?" That scared me because I was afraid he was going to get hurt too. But uh, that's the Mr. Quick story about my hamburger and stuff. There I was, just minding my own business. And a bunch of my cousins was up up uh, at the counter ordering their food. And uh, they ended up picking the glass out of me till about midnight. And. Uh, Mom and Dad didn't have any insurance or anything to uh, get me get my stuff set back up, put back in place. So you know, like we just kind of got over it. So I think for a year I sat kind of over to one side. I was bent over to that one side. 
And uh, of course my head was never right, and it's still not right. And some of it's not because of the crashes that I've had. But that was the story that uh, I was trying to tell Greg Porter when he was uh, putting him stripes on that little plastic hood skin. And it's, it, I don't think it's funny, but it could be funny. Anyway, we all survived out of it. And uh, we were just a bunch of kids, and uh, we knew the police was going to come, and they were going to do this and that, and they were going to put me in the hospital for sure. And that wasn't the window were too good with my parents. Uh, them being poor and all, or me being poor. And uh, I never knew I was poor. We all, uh, my crib was a dresser drawer that they raised me in. Mom would take a dresser drawer out of wherever we was living and set it on some chairs beside the bed. And that was my, my crib. And a lot of our houses didn't have uh, uh, floors in them. They had wood floors. But you sprinkle them every morning and you sweep them smooth. You get the kiln tracks out of it. Sweep them smooth and, and it's just as slick as a regular floor. You maintain them good. And uh, we lived in a boxcar that was converted over to a house for a while. Lots of room in it to get them fixed up. And uh, you cut, cut windows in it. I've got that to brag about living in a boxcar for several years. Uh, one thing we used to do is, is uh, Mom would go to off work. It was, it was like midnight or so. We'd cruise the back of the grocery stores and we'd get the stuff that they throw out. And a lot of it was still good to eat. And uh, we would do that. And some other things that, that you know you do to survive. And uh, that's what got us up into now. Got us here. All happy and, and, and uh, doing good. Uh, what I've been doing lately is messing uh, with this little project. I've got to cut some stuff around and get it where it's good to shoot again. And uh, doing some stuff with the knives, and I've got to mail some stuff off. And uh, I just want to tell you the story. I know everybody was kind of excited about it. And uh, another thing I want to tell you all that, that I had a wonderful time up in Kansas City with all my friends. All my new friends, old friends, whatever, they're all just a great bunch of guys and gals. And uh, some of these people I've never watched a video on, but I am now. And some of them I've only watched five or six videos, so I didn't really know what to expect. But it ended up, everybody went like this, and we got the thing done, and we had fun doing it. And they put up with me poking stuff on them and aggravating them and, and uh, don't know if they enjoyed that or not but I was going to do it anyway. Uh, kept everybody kind of giggling once in a while when they were around. It was, it was tough. It was hot. It was tough. We had a lot of stuff to do in a short time to do it. And uh, it was just an amazing thing. And now I'm home and I don't want to do nothing. Ain't that the thing? Oh, I want to ask you all something too. This is going to be a, a long one, I guess. Uh, I've got all this stuff. I've got cars and trucks and bombs. Hell, i got everything. And, and uh, I don't know how much time i got left to play with this stuff. And uh, I'm thinking about doing something like the Bible, they trimmed their wick and they were found pretty happy uh, by, by cutting dots in the domino, trimming your wick and doing stuff. I need to figure out what I need to do because I got so many projects and not much oomph to go that uh, I think I should sell out a whole bunch of this junk. Uh, just 
do you do one or two and have one or two cars or trucks or whatever and I've got dozens and uh, of course I still want them but I, I don't see me going out there and doing everything they need or modifying them like I want to modify them and stuff and I know this some of my idols like uh, uh, Scott Best he's building his the test and he'll have one car he'll have a one beautiful car when he's done and uh, it'll be done right and it'll be beautiful and he'll drive the wheels on it whereas I've got bunches of junk and if I would concentrate on one I could do a lot better than I have done on the one that I have so I'm thinking about Thinning up the crop. And, and I guess if I was rich, I could have other people do their stuff, but for some reason I'd rather do it on my own and, and uh, do it as good as I can, which is not as good as anybody else could do it. But it's me doing it, and that's the fun the of it. And with my crossings, I usually get them done, drive them around the block, and I'm done with them. The fun on that is building them. For, to me, and uh, these little English cars are fun, are fun to put together, and then they're a ball to drive. Which a Crosley is fun to drive, but they're a little bit restricted on their speed, on their steering, and on their brakes and stuff like that, making them a little bit more dangerous to get out on the road and stuff. A little bit more limited in the range that you can drive them. I reckon these British cars would just go all over, I hope. So, uh, I don't know, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but, but whatever you think, give me your ideas and what you think of just maybe have one or two and getting rid of this whole crop. I've got stuff that nobody's seen in years, things that I've never seen in years. And yet it's, it's I'm having to say grace over it, and uh, I just don't see me having the time to do it. I think I can free up that time and, and do better on just one or two things. And I'm uh, calling it good. So, my thoughts about numbers instead of quality didn't act, work out too good. Alright y'all, I love you. And uh, holler if you want any more goofy stories. I've got several.